Danville, Virginia, population 45,700. It's a beautiful spring day in a quiet town along the Virginia border, a perfect place to make racing history. This is the first clean diesel powered series in the world. With this series, it's for young drivers, it's non-professional drivers who are entering into a full-body stock car, allowing them to go on a track and become a professional racer. No one's been really racing the diesels, so to be able to represent that in the first year of it, that's super cool. I'm super pumped about that. Having the, the whole series you know, certified as Carbon Free by Carbon Fund was a huge issue for me and my sponsors. We've created a platform. It's not about how much money you have. It's not about having the best mechanic. Everything is even. The best driver will stand out. My previous background in racing has been about 11 years in karting, and then I ran. How's that possible? I uh, started when I was four. When I was eight, my pop got me a go-kart. It wasn't anything competitive. We ran out a couple times and just you know, went out to go play around. We won a turkey. What is it really unique about the Jetta TDI Cup series is it's got the carbon-free footprint. It has 30 identically prepared diesels, and they are fast. The car runs on ultra-low sulfur diesel fuel. The new fuel allows a particular filter to run and clean the emissions on the car, and that's come together under the clean diesel technology in their TDI engine. I think the motorsports is the perfect place to be trying things out, like starting to go green racing, and let's see where we can take it. The fact is, these cars are high-performance race cars. At the same time, they're much cleaner and better for the environment, which is a very cool thing. When Volkswagen designed the fuel-efficient, low-emissions Jetta TDI clean diesel, they loaded it up with torque. This inspired the Jetta TDI Cup, the first ever all-clean diesel race series designed to be green. We've always tried to like conserve outside of the track and, and feel bad going out racing on Sunday, and now it's like the best of both worlds. Getting in these new diesel cars, the immediate thought is, well, diesels aren't fast, and it's exactly the opposite once you get in these things. You get on the gas, you cannot put it full throttle coming out of a turn, you'll spin the tires. You have to ease into the throttle. It's a fast track, so there's a lot of potential for, uh, for things to go wrong. Hey, somebody wants that. Yep. And I saw somebody literally on the straightaway do one of these, like just hit somebody. What? But yeah. <laughs> lots of torque, lots of horsepower. And it's clean. It's you know, it's going to be the future. I'm not trying to be hard on you. I'm just when you're out there on the race laps, I don't want you going off, but I want you guys to be fast. And the cars are equally matched. The drivers are. Every bit is good, you know, some have a larger learning curve than others. If I was to be seven seconds off the pace, yeah, I'd be asking questions. I mean, if, if it doesn't bother you, then good, you know, you go to bed and you wake up tomorrow and you come back and you're still seven seconds off the pace. It's frustrating. I left to go to Iraq. I sacrificed a lot uh, as far as a racing career. So more than anything, Iraq just taught me, you know, how to focus, knock everything else out, all the distractions, and just focus on the one thing that you're there to do. Just the fact that I made it here with this little is a pretty big deal to me. Hopefully, if I do win and I get the money, I would love to run for Volkswagen in Europe. I want to make a career out of motorsport. I want to do this for the rest of my life. Nothing else. I mean, honestly, this is, this is my dream. This is, I, I don't, yeah, just this or nothing else. What is really unique about the Jetta TDI Cup series is it's got the carbon-free footprint. It has 30 identically prepared diesels, and they are fast. There's only one way. You got to go fast, and you got to take chances, and, and you know, just hope you're not the guy that uh, this track fights. With qualifying behind them, it was now time to race. Coming up next, race one of the first race series designed to be green.
What if there was a race designed to be green? Would anyone watch? Now, so we're here Sunday, race day at Virginia International Raceway, the very first race for the Volkswagen Jetta TDI Cup, and uh, a beautiful facility here, picturesque, elevation changes for the racetrack. Really looking forward to kicking today off for the first race of the season. My expectations are to be up near the front, but uh, if, if I'm not, you know, it's, there's still a race after that, so it's a 30 minute race, anything can happen. You've got to keep it competitive, you've got to make it a show for the fans. And I think it's going to be a very exciting series. You've got 30 cars that are equally prepared, 30 hungry young drivers. It's going to be fun to watch. When the green flag dropped, it was Josh Hurley on the pole, but Caleb Kenny passed early in the race to take the lead. From there, it was wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. But from all the bumping and grinding and six lead changes, it was patience that won out. Mark Pombo was in fourth place on the last lap, within striking distance of first. As the lead cars battled for position, Mark drove his own race, waiting for an opportunity. When the cars ahead got tangled up, Mark jumped into the lead and stayed there, beating out second place by a mere four-tenths of a second. The first winner of the very first Volkswagen Jetta team. I'm completely so stoked that the race was unbelievable. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. It put on a great show. The fans were loving it. We expected to have a fantastic show, and that's what we got. I've never had more fun in my life being behind the wheel of a race car. That was just fun. That was an amazing race. You know, the cars were absolutely phenomenal. And I think I did really well for myself. I was within inches of guys next to me, and I felt, felt great. If I don't win the series, at least I can claim I was the first to wreck a car. So. Better look next week. Two weeks. I have another chance to win. You did a good job. You know, this, this season should definitely be focusing on all of us becoming better drivers. So whoever's the best out of that will be the ultimate winner. I think Volkswagen's really taken the lead by developing this series and, and making not only everybody out there aware of it, but these young drivers are aware of what this is all about. It's wonderful. We have a whole series now that has gone green. And um, I think people will pay attention to it for that. One race down, seven to go. Follow the Jetta TDI Cup at VW.com.